What's going on you guys? Welcome to The Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not The Single Guy. Today we're going to talk about a very special subject and we have a very special guest to help us out with this. Her name is Miss... Emily Freeman. Emily Freeman is here and we're going to talk about seven things women first notice about you. Now a lot of times you guys, when you walk up and you present yourself to someone that you like, you are getting discounted because of some of these things that you are not doing. Women pay very close attention to these things that we're going to be talking about and you don't get a second chance at a first impression. So Emily, what is the first thing that women pay attention to? Ooh, the first thing is your posture. So she's going to notice if you're standing up tall, if you're relaxed, comfortable, you know, if you look tense or you look like you don't really care that you're even there, she's going to notice. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of the things that I tell my clients right from the get-go. If they're going to change their look, if they're going to make themselves more attractive, the easiest thing to change is their posture. I mean, there's a difference between walking up like this, <laughs> like you're Quasimodo, <laughs> <laughs> and this where your shoulders are back, you look more relaxed, more confident, way, way better. What is number two? The second thing will be your facial expression. So are you smiling? Are you excited to see her? Do you look relaxed? You know, maybe you're grimacing. <laughs> you know, she might be a little bit worried that you're not happy to be there. What do you think looks better, a more serious look or a more friendly look? Definitely a friendly look for first impression. You know, when you're talking to her later on, you can definitely put on more of a serious face. Do that little... How do you guys do that? That like eyebrows, yeah, like, like you put your eyebrows <laughs> together. I don't know, something with a, <laughs> a stern look, maybe. Yeah, but when you're first seeing her, definitely smile. Show her that you are happy to see her. Yeah, this is a, a big problem that I have, and I know a lot of my clients have as well too, because my eyebrows are all slanted at like a 45 degree angle, so everybody thinks I'm about to murder somebody constantly. <laughs> I'm not, but I, I know that if I relax my face a little bit and I look more friendly, uh, my results go uh, way up. What's number three, Emily? The third is how you greet her. So right after she notices your facial expression and your posture, she's gonna look to you to see how you greet her. Now, if she's giving you the right energy to go in for a hug, do it, but make sure it's not too soft. You want to have some firmness behind it while still being respectful. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. You know, there's nothing worse than a guy coming in and hesitating and freaking out and, uh, uh, let's go for a hug. Yeah. It, uh, or like the pat on the back. Not the pat on the back, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> You're setting all the wrong signals there. You want to come in with confidence, a sense of warmness, and make her feel comfortable around you. What is number four, Emily? Well, the fourth is your style. And I know some guys are going to cringe at this because you don't have to go shopping. You don't know what to pick out. But let me tell you, this can make such a difference on how women react to you when they see you. So make sure your clothes are clean. There's not a lot of wrinkles in them. You know, you're wearing something that suits your body type and your, and your overall style. Show your individuality. You know, what makes you feel good? Yeah, so this is something that a lot of guys don't focus on at all, but I know it's one of the first things that women notice about them when they see yeah. them. Is this shirt wrinkled? Is his leg is this, is he dirty or is there stains? Yeah. You know, a lot of times guys throw the first thing they see on in the closet and they walk out the door. And I get that it's easy and it's convenient, but take some time to take care of yourself because that's what she's thinking about how you're going to take care of her. Absolutely. And there's nothing better than seeing a guy with great style. Number five is how people react to you. So if she notices that other people are smiling when you walk by or noticing your presence because it is so dominant, that's gonna be something to make her even more intrigued. Yeah, that's one thing I tell a lot of my clients is that like when they walk into a bar or a social event or something like that, they're usually looking to see what kind of girls they're attracted to. But a lot of times what women are looking for is they're looking to see how other people behave towards other people. What are they looking at? Who is the center of attention? Who is the person that's captivating everybody else? And if you're that person, you just made yourself a lot more attractive um, than the people around you. All right. Number six. Number six is how you treat other people. So if you've ever been on a date with a woman who's rude to the server, you know how much of a turnoff this can be. A woman wants to see that you are kind to other people, that you're considerate of how you treat other people. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things that I tell guys is that, like, you don't just be nice to the person that you're talking to, you know? Right. She's actually going to pay more attention to how you treat other people. Mm -hmm. And from, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, tell me if I'm wrong, I think that women pay more attention to how people are behaving in when they're not looking. Yeah, you know what I mean? For uh, sure. They take notes. They, they're looking to see how you act when people you don't think anyone's watching. That's going to really give her an idea about who you are as a person because you can always put on an act for the first few dates, yeah. but then after that, your real character starts to show through. She's always watching. Number seven. Your smell. 
So guys, this is so important. As soon as you go in to greet her, maybe you're giving her a hug, she's gonna notice the smell of your laundry detergent on your clothes, if you have cologne on, if you have any beard oil on, and she wants it to smell nice. She's put a lot of work into smelling good and looking good for you, and she expects the same. Yeah, what do you think about uh, the difference between maybe a guy's natural smell mm -hmm. and like the smell of cologne? Yeah. Do you, do you prefer men that wear cologne, or do you prefer men with like the more natural smell? What is your so I think women, this is such a personal preference in general. So if you like the smell of cologne, wear it because your perfect partner is going to like that smell of the cologne. However, no woman likes overpowering cologne. So if you're smelling up the entire establishment by spraying on the whole entire bottle, <laughs> maybe cut back a little bit. Yeah, I agree. I think the biggest one here, guys, is just make sure that you're clean. Make sure that you're not smelling bad and you're giving off horrible odors as you come in. If you come in and your smell, even if you're just not wearing any cologne, if you smell clean, you smell fresh, um, that is actually going to be uh, the best thing for you uh, moving forward. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Well, that's the seven things. Thank you so much, Emily. Guys, if this was helpful for you, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notifications bell. Um, and uh, if you'd like to follow Emily, she is on Instagram. Emily, where can they find you? You can find me at, at Emily Freeman Coaching. Perfect. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. We'll put links to those in the description box below. Thanks a lot, and good luck out there. See you there.